Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for a time like this in your presence. Thank you because you said where two or three gather, that you are there. Lord, we acknowledge your presence here, oh God. Hallelujah to your name, for your mercy, for your faithfulness, for your kindness, oh God, because you have not dealt with us according to our iniquities. Bible says, as I as the heaven is to heard, that much he has shown mercy. And I said, as far as the east is a weight from west, that much is taking away our sins from us. God, we are grateful. Father, we give you praise. We honor your name because you are a faithful God. Thank you because you have not dealt with us according to our iniquities. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Perhaps it's for all man I've seen our comfort of the glory of God. But it's just by your mercy that we are alive today. It's by your grace that we are here today. Yes. For the provision, for protection, for loving kindness, for a beautiful family, for a beautiful relationship, for a beautiful family of God, we are grateful. Yes. For yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We, we thank you, God, because today we know that everything, every prayer point that we raise today, thank you because you're going to honor it in Amen. Jesus' name. Thank you because we will testify to the goodness of God for Amen. everything I will say today in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Amen. Um, Okay, so please, last, last Sunday, we prayed for Patsy and Brenda and the family, right? And mm -hmm. so because of Technica each, we could not deliver those prayers that we prayed. We couldn't send it mm -hmm. to the family. And so we're going to repeat that prayer. Uh, so let's start with that. No, no, let's start with that. And then we'll also pray for families that have lost their loved ones through this period as well. Let's pray, apart from Patsy and uh, Brenda, let's remember everyone that have lost one person or the other, you know, throughout this mm -hmm. season, uh, this period, that God will comfort them and console them. And they will indeed see the Lord in the name of Jesus. So Pastor, Amen. can I leave you with that, sir? Yes. Father God, as we come before you tonight, we just thank you for salvation. Lord, that you secured for us on the cross, that you gave your life a ra ransom for many. And Lord, your word says that because we believe in you, we have that assurance. Yes. And, yes. and your yes. word says, as we already read, that he who believes my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment. Yes passed from death to life and lord as we bring patsy and uh, a memory lord for her family before you tonight yeah, we thank, thank you lord that she made that prayer of commitment and she gave her heart to you and that lord because she believed in you she will not come into judgment but will enter into eternal life lord your word also says blessed are those or oh, blessed are the dead who died in the lord from now on blessed indeed says the spirit that they may rest from their labor for their deeds follow them yes. and the bible yes. finally says for us to be absent from the body is to be present with the lord yes. lord we, we just lift patsy's family up with you i know they're meeting today and it's a very tough time for them all because they're a, they're a very close family yes. but lord i thank you for the privilege of allowing us to to do the funeral and, and yes, just Jesus. Lord, knowing where she is, oh God. And we lift them all before you today. Pray for Mickey's friends and Lord and um, yes. what's his name, Mick? Mackie, uh, Mackie, Mackie, Mackie. 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 Yes. Okay. We we, we pray for, for Dottie, Mackie's wife and family, Lord, as they're obviously going through grief as well. But Lord, your word says that we yeah. grieve not like the world, because we yeah. grieve yeah. with hope of being reunited one day. Yeah. And Lord, and that's what we ask for right now, for each and every family. And for those that are on our mind right now, yeah. I don't know everybody, maybe somebody's got other people on the mind that they want to bring out, but we lift Patsy's family, 
and, and yes, Mackie's yes. family before you right now, oh God. And, and I ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. So let's, that's not quickly. Right. But let's, let's not forget this. Um, I'm sounding like a broken record. I would also I will solicit for this again. Um, opportunity for us to give God thanks for things that he's done, for what he's going to do, and for the great things he will do in our life. Opportunity, I want to give the floor to anybody to share testimony, praise mm -hmm. reports. Um, so, anybody? Come on, somebody. I just want to give thanks. Sorry, Ken, go on. Was she saying something, Ken? Uh, well, I was on the verge. <laughs> on, I, then. Will, I, I, I will. Um, uh, I think we're all aware of the need for a new uh, roof at the church. And we are applying for a grant uh, for that. The uh, a stipulation is that we have three quotes. And it's been a struggle to get them. We have really tried hard. We have done all that we all that we uh, 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 can actually, uh, and uh, for all that, we've only had the two quotes. I, I laid this before the Lord, and I, I gave him the problem. He knows we need a new uh, 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 roof, so gave up on the third guy. We we uh, have been in touch with about a dozen uh, companies. And only about uh, two or three came back. And um, a third guy phoned me up uh, I, I, yesterday out of the blue. I'd, I'd given up on him. I thought we'd only got the two quotes. And just he just uh, phoned me up and said, can I come down and take a look? So uh, praise the Lord. I, 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 I met him. Today, he he went up on, on the roof. He was appalled at the things he saw up, up there, but he's going to give us a quote. So, so there's our uh, uh, three quotes. So, uh, Amen. Thank, you, Dad. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, so we are praying. We are continuing to pray that God has already answered our prayer. That the finances for the roof are all already on the way we're not asking for them again we are appraising him that he has already arranged it so mm. Amen. Uh, praise the lord yeah. Yeah. i just okay. want to give thanks to the lord for his faithfulness in taking care of all his children and, and mm. our church that nobody has been affected with the coronavirus, everyone's well, and our children would just be light and blessing on them. And he's um, he's faithful to his word, and I just give him thanks for that. He's faithful to his word with our family, with our children, um, and he's just just blessing them. And I just thank him for that. And um, he's just so good. I thank him for what he's doing in Patsy's um, family in Brenda's family, in Beth's family, and um, and I know his, his angels are there ministering all the time. I thank God because I see that. I see that in my mind. Yeah. The, so, you know, God gives an image in the Bible. We can visualize that and use our imagination. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and it's just wonderful. And I just trust him. So that's on, on the foremost, that's on the... Um, first part of my mind is this family and just praying for them and believing for them mm. and I know that they are open to the Lord so thank you Jesus thank he's you. faithful to watch over his word to perform it mm. uh, God honors his, his word above his name mm. and so when we send his word out he honors that word he watches over that word to perform it so all his promises are yes and amen and I thank the Lord for that. And I speak it out. I just speak those words out to our church, as well as to family um, and to the governments. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank I just want to give much. thanks to, to, oh, sorry. No, shoot. Oh. Yeah, I just want to give thanks to the Lord for um, everything that he's doing in my family's life. The girls, mm-hmm. my grandkids, my, my son, my mm-hmm. sisters. I just bless God for wow. um, opening up doors and, and changing hearts and changing their lives. So, mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. I just give God thanks for that. That's Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I want to thank God. Uh, we saw some wonderful uh, videos and photographs of our great grandson. Um, he went to the safari park on Sunday for the first time. And he just saw the videos. His face was in delight as he was looking at the camels and the, all the animals, really. He's just a blessing. And, and we've been in Cumbria for a few days, are, are in Cumbria for a few days and we've had some nice uh, weather, especially today and um, you've probably seen the photographs that Denise uh, said, reminded her of the flock <laughs> with all the sheep and uh, but but not only that, it was just wonderful to see the scenery and I know we've all seen it right. before and I was thinking of what he says in Psalms, he says these words, the heavens declare the glory of God and the sky above proclaims his handiwork, or the expanse yeah. above, you know. Thank and you. we've all experienced that, I suppose, when we go different places. It doesn't have to be countryside, you know. I like Amen. to see all kinds of things. But we had a nice day today because it didn't rain, for the, thank God. And uh, it was sun shining. So we got to see some countryside. And we found a wonderful old listed church right in the middle of a field. I, I, yeah, it must have been for farmers. It was, it was so nice. We had to, Denise had to stop the car and <laughs> run round. Yeah. Yeah. She, she had to open the gate and I said, don't let the cows out. But it was That's not. Nice. Anyways, but I just want to thank God for, it was a wonderful time that Amen. we can experience Amen. over and over again and it Amen. never gets old. Amen. Amen. Great day for this time of year. It's not the Keswick in Cumbria, isn't it, Bill? We went to Keswick yesterday, so it's... Uh, oh, is, that, is, that, is it running that, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's opening now. Most of it's open. Oh, yeah. Now. Oh, right, all oh, right. It's quite busy, actually, so, mm. you know, anyway, it yeah. was a nice day. Yeah. Carry on. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, I, I have one testimony as well. Um, I'm not going to be explicit. Hi. I was thinking maybe I should stop recording. So I can be explicit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will not be explicit. You can I'll just it. I'll, I'll just pause it now. Okay. I'll just pause it. Thank you. No. See, I struggle to. I've wanted to share this, but I struggle. Whether should I or should I not? Should I? <laughs> should I not? But I know that it will encourage someone that God is able to do exceedingly mm-hmm. beyond what we ever think or ask. Right, Amen. yes, about three four years ago, Wendy and I about attempted to do what was done for us. Right, mm. we've attempted to do it, but we were unable to do it. We forgot about it, and all of this happened when we less suspected. You know, Amen. we did not expect, it. and it's a blessing, it's a big deal, really. Big Amen. Deal. Amen. 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 Bless God, bless God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank so you, Joseph. Tonight, that's so good. I like what you said. It's encouraging. It's no encouraging. struggle. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah. when mm. you struggle, you're fretting and you're worrying. But when you don't, yes. mm. uh, God is, you're just seeing, you're standing back and seeing God at work, aren't you? And that's, yes. he can was, only get the was, glory and honor. It was just Amen. unusual. So I, I, apparently some people, um, they, I, uh, they thought I hold, they hold me favor. They talk, yeah. they hold mm. the paper mm. and they just start, no, chipping there, chipping there, chipping there. Mm. And yeah. It was, you know. Wow. Amen. It was, it was, it's beautiful. I'm very Thank grateful. You. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you Joseph. for sharing. Yeah. Joseph, I just want to read you something I've been reading. Can I read you the scripture? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. There's a, st- there's a, a scripture found here in Luke. 22 um, 25. In Luke 9 1 to 3, there's a story about the disciples when Jesus was sending them out. He was sending them out to do the ministry. He said to them, Take nothing with you. Take no coat, take nothing with you. He said, But I will provide for you. And here's a powerful scripture in Luke 23 35. And this is Jesus asking the disciples the question 
And he said to them, when I send you out without money bag, lapsack and sandals, did you lack anything? And they said, we lacked nothing. Did you get that? Yeah. Well, that's powerful yeah. because that's powerful because we we're in a uh, we, we we lack nothing in the kingdom of God. Amen. And I was that's just right. listening to your testimony, and I thought, that's well, the it's same yeah. testimony. It's parallel, yeah. It's parallel, yeah. That's good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Testimony. What was that? Did you say it was Luke twenty three thirty five? No, oh, 2235. 2235, thank you. And the actual beginning of it is in Luke 9, 1 to 3, what he, what he sends the disciples out, but that's the answer to it. This is... Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No problem, sir. So tonight, I am going to challenge us based on this. We're going to pray based on two scriptures tonight. Um. First Peter chapter two verse number nine. First Peter chapter two, verse number nine. Okay, so are we there? Okay, so I'll read the a new KJV version. It said, "But you are a chosen generation." a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right? I just, I just want to reaffirm, I want us to know that, yes, this is who we are. See, so if you know who you are, you'll be able to know what to call, how to approach things. Yeah. Amen. You get me? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. just to let us know who we are, at least. I'm sure we know who we are, just to reaffirm that this is who we are. We are a, we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, yes. a holy nation, his own special people, not just yes. any people, special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous night. Light. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. So, that just suppose that scripture with Isaiah chapter 60. Yeah. What was that? Isaiah 60. Isaiah 60. Yeah. From verse 1. <coughs> Can I read? Yeah. Okay, he said, Arise, shine, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of God is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your rising. Wow. Amen. Jesus. So the, the, the light Amen. will only shine in the darkness. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Circumstance, what is happening around us, you can, it is tantamount to darkness. A lot of disease, uh, deaths because of COVID 19, a lot of people will lose their job, lose that, you know, livelihood and all of that depression and everything, right? But knowing that we are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, this is the yeah. time for our light to shine. Yeah. Yes. This is yeah. time for us to arise and let that shine. Let that light shine. Amen. Mm. Amen. Please do the light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. shine. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. Please do the light, 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 light of mine. I'm gonna let it, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> yes, so we need to arise. Jesus. Amen. That the light will shine for our light at home. We need to rise and shine. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. So when we pray, we pray with the knowledge that we are a chosen generation. We are yes. not. Yes. Just anybody. We are royal priesthood. Mm -hmm. We are seated above with Christ Jesus, far above all principalities, 
So when we speak, we speak with authority, right? Amen. Because our light has come. The darkness do not have a choice to shine because we will arise because our light has come in the name of Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Okay, so with that at the back of our mind, can I ask us to pray for today? Let's pray for every young children in our church, in our the people that we know, every fam young family, and all of that. Let's pray with that mindset that. Lord, let the let your light shine upon them. Those children, they academically they suffer for the last three, four months. They've not been in school. Excuse me. They've not been in school. Not all of them, not all of them could afford extra tuition. Yeah. Right? So let's pray that God will touch them. That God will like 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 a Daniel. They'll be wiser than their contemporary because the hand of God will be upon them. They want to restore them. Leah, for instance, she's not been to school in the last four months. True Leah. So, yeah. because you've not been to school, with the tendency is there for you not to be motivated to do any study, to remember anything. But if the hand of God is upon them, it will guide them. It will help them yeah. to read, you know, it will direct mm -hmm. them to the right pages of the textbooks to read and all of yeah. that. You know, so let's pray for young yes. people. Some of them who are who are made to get job, they cannot get job, right? They are frustrated. There's a lot of frustration among the young people. Let's pray that God will touch them, that God will help them, God will guide and direct their path. He will lead them, you know, and God will ultimately lead them to Him. Uh, how can a man um, guide his guide his way except? By the Lord, that Lord, that God would do all of this, so that they will be, it will be, they will be drawn to God, that they will know mm -hmm. God, and they will serve God. Hallelujah! Mm -hmm. You get the prayer point. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, can somebody pray with authority? Because we are a chosen generation. We are not just a mere mortal. Yeah. We are, you know. So let's pray yeah. that God will touch the life of all our children, the young children. Those who have been out of school, those who are out of job, that God will touch them. He will do a miraculous thing in their life. You know, I mean, I'm sure everybody here will have sons, daughter, granddaughter, grand, you know, great grandson. There's a great granny among yeah. us, you know. You know. <laughs> yes. So can I invite someone to pray for the young generation, please. Yeah. Just, just before they do, Joseph, just to encourage everybody, I know that you've all been um, test me testified about Daniel and how that he was the, he finished uni and he needed a full time. And, he, and the, when we prayed the following morning, he had a phone call off his... Um, he's stepping in for um, maternity leave of this company. So he was given two days. Last Just before we came here, he said... Um, I need, I need them to keep me on full-time, Mum, because the maternity leave will come up and, and I need to be full-time. I said, well, I'm going to pray, Daniel. We're going to believe God for that. Yeah. While we were here, he, phoned, he, he spoke to me two days ago and he said his boss came up to him and offered him full-time. Yeah. So he's got full-time until next yeah. July. When he leaves July, he starts the new company, um, August and he's, he's already got a contract with them and that's it so as from now till then he needed full time and so God is so faithful in looking after our children and our young yes. people Amen. so that's that I give God the glory I forgot about that until we just said that Amen. he can do it you've got the glory yes yeah I know I thank God really for my journey out of debt really it's on the way now, but it's still not there yet. It's at the point now, Denise, where it'll go either way. Do you know what I mean? But things are looking good at the moment. Yeah. Amen. Well, thank God yeah. for that, really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just to yeah. keep carrying on. Do you know what, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I just thank you that we are chosen generation lord we're yes. your own special people oh god and we yes. because we live in your kingdom oh god 
uh, Lord, it's not of this world. And the principles in your kingdom is that there's no lack. Lord, and you supply all our needs. And Lord, yes. we thank you that, Lord, uh, in the, this world of darkness, we are all lights. Lord, yes. just your light just shining in the darkness, in the education, in the workplace, in the... Um, just in, just in the home and everything that we're going in and going out as we're doing it, the light is shining, oh God, that people yes, yes. will be drawn to you through us, Lord. And so, Father, I just lift up all our young people. I thank you what you're doing yes. in Daniel, even though he's not recognizing it, but I do, and the parents do, Lord, and we see your hand of favor. And I speak blessing and favor, Lord, upon our, all our children, yes. Lord, from... Uh, the tiny ones to um, teenagers, Lord, to college students and to university, Lord, and for the employment. So I speak life to um, the families that's in our church, Lord, for Maria, I speak for her children and Anthony's, Lord, for Cindy and for Leah, Lord, that Lord, where there's a gap, that Lord, by your spirit, wisdom from heaven can come down and just fill her mind, Lord, with knowledge, Lord, that you will just direct the kind of the, the stuff she's missing out on, oh God. Make it easy for her to pick it up. I pray for, and yes, uh, just you, Holy Spirit, making that pathway easy to, mm. to understand, yes, you, Lord, the things that she has to learn, that she will increase in knowledge, oh God. Yes, for, for Tommy, for our Lord, again, as yes. they're privileged to get more education, that it will sink in, oh God. Yes, that, yes, Lord, you, your hand is upon all our children because we, are, we all belong to you. And that, Lord, you will just lead and guide all our children. For Hannah, Lord, for Juanita, Lord God. Yes. Lessons yes. upon them, oh God. And I let them excel, oh God, in the things and the plan and purpose you have for them, oh God. Yes. All Indeed. our children and, and yes. grandchildren and great-grandchildren, oh God, we commit them yes. to your care, Lord. And we just um, pray your divine favor as we do return to school. Lord, it'll be as though there's, no, there's been no gap. Lord, that they will just pick up, Lord, quickly, Lord God, and excel in knowledge and excel in their education. Lord, that you will open doors of favor, Lord, because we look to your kingdom for jobs and employment for all our young ones and for the adults, oh God, that, Lord, we will give glory and honor, Lord, for our, and not just us, Lord, all of the church family and all the children and the nation, those that can't afford it, oh God, you can do far above what we can Amen. think or even ask yes. and so we release your blessings oh god yes. for such Thank a time you. as this we are the light lord shining in this dark world lord and that men and women and yes. children and young people will come to the knowledge of their Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for Joseph's testimony in the workplace, in business. Yes, you, Lord, in your kingdom, there's no lack. Lord, thank you watch you, over your word, oh God. You're the provider. Lord, you're, my God shall supply all our needs. Lord, the supply is already there. So we call yes. that supply, you know, God. Our finances for the roof, oh God. Yes. Through, um, everything that we do, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord thank Lord. you, Lord. And Help us, each one of us, to know who we are in you and that our light can shine through the Zoom, through the WhatsApp, through the emails, yes. through yes. the telephone calls, oh God, that, yes. that yes. light will just penetrate and go through. And Lord, even as we prepare to go back to church and the workplace, oh God, and community, yes. never before, Lord, has this world been so dark in history as, as it is now that the Christian, the church can rise up and just shine yeah. its glorious light. Yes, so Lord, Lord that the result will be that billions yes. of people will come into your kingdom. Yes, Lord, and I Jesus. thank you for that, Lord. Thank I speak it out. I believe that, Lord. And I thank you that, yes. Lord, you're using us, your children, to do this. Yes. In Jesus' Amen. name. Jesus Amen. 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 Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you now, we're going to pray about the fact that uh, we're going to pray for the for all nations basically because the countries are opening up right people are going back to work and all of that we're going to pray that god will guide our leaders he will direct the path <clears throat> yes he will help them to make right decision at the right time it won't be too late you know yeah. and even our people at policy maker at work yeah. Right, that God will touch their heart, He will guard them to make the right decision 
at the right yeah. time. Oh, that okay. even as people go back into the, the seemingly normal time, that the hand of God will be upon everybody. And we will not have a terrible experience again. The government will not regret that it is too early to release, you know, the lockdown. But Proverbs chapter 21, Proverbs 21, verse number one. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, it turneth whichsoever he will. Right? The heart of the kings is in the hand of God, just like the rivers of water. And God turns it whichever way he so desires. Right? We're going to pray that God would turn the heart of our leaders to, to, to do the right thing. Right? Yeah. There are two, this, this scripture we can pray another way is that, you know, we. It is criminal, I'm sorry to use that word, it is criminal for us to come to a prayer meeting without an expectation. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. It's a criminal offense to come to prayer meeting without any expectation. Amen. Yeah. Right? So yeah. we will also pray that whatsoever, whosoever in the place of authority that we are looking up to, that is to make a decision that will favor us in any circumstances, yes. that yes. because the acts of the kings are in the hand of God, that the way he turns water, and he, as he so desire, like such people in place of authority, that God will touch that, will turn their heart to favor us wherever mm -hmm. where any decision is being made concerning us. That God will touch the heart of those people that are going to make the decision to favor us. Yeah. Can you get the prayer point? Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. So first, we're going to pray that God will turn the heart of our leaders to make right decision at the right time as we yeah. go back to the the new normal considering yes. that God will touch yeah. their heart and they will, they will turn their heart to make the right decision mm. it will not be too early and it will not be too late mm -hmm. right the second part is that personally or as a corporate as a as a body of Christ that whatsoever whatsoever that we are expecting something from God for somebody to make a decision that God will touch the heart of that person who's going to make the decision that if God will turn their heart to favor us, even if they are mm. otherwise, because yeah. they are, their heart is in the hand of God, you will turn yeah. it to favor us yeah. in the yes. name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Thank yeah, you, Lord. You please pray for us. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Father so God. We just thank you, Lord, that you're just an awesome God, Lord, and you're a mighty God, Lord, and we serve, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, and we all for favoritism, Lord, among your people, among your body of Christ, Lord, as we prepare. To go back to the building, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you give us favor with the finances. We call them in right now for the roof, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're an awesome God, that you protect us, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that favoritism will continue, that we'll be blessed, protected, blessed, going in and blessed, going out, Lord. We pray right now for our leaders. We pray for our leaders in our church that you help us, Lord, and our pastors to make right decisions, Lord. We can we come against this coronavirus in the name of Jesus. We pray right now for the governments right now, Lord, that you will help them right. That you will turn their hearts in this nation, Lord, towards you right now in Jesus' name, Lord. That you will do miracles. That our light will shine like the new said, and that you see miracles happening in this nation and other nations right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. That you help them to make decisions. I find fear in the name of Jesus. And I pray for faith to be enlarged, Lord. Yes, so. Bring salvation to leaders yes. by the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord. Yes. We look forward to it and we thank you, Jesus, yes. that you are a God that provides. You are a God that protects us right now. Jehovah Jireh, we thank you and we worship your name in Jesus' name. Yes, amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. As Father, I want to join in agreement with Mick and all the prayers. Lord, your word tells us to pray for the king's royalty and all those in authority. Yes. Lord, not just for our selfish benefit, but for the country at large, Lord, that those men and women yes. in authority in, in uh, decision making Lord you'll give them wisdom and understanding to make the right decisions for this country yes. especially for the, the uh, church community oh God 
I pray, Lord, that we get godly men and women in positions yes, yes. Of, of leadership, Lord, yes. to turn our nation around back to you, Lord. And not just this nation, nations around us, Lord. We just lift them up before you and we praise you, Lord, that you've yes. given us such a, a hand of favor upon our lives, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Lord, and as we prepare to go back into the building, that Lord, yes. none of these things shall come upon us according mm -hmm. to your word. We stand fast and firm in your word, yes. in faith. And Lord, we know, Lord, that, uh, that if we know you've heard the, the request we make, we have the answer. Yes. Yes. We, thank you right now. we thank you for the new roof. We thank you, Lord, for uh, thank you. new people. We thank you, Lord, for revival. Lord, yes. Lord, and I pray, Lord, as these coming months and your next yes. year, Lord, we're going to see an increase in growth, Lord, to glorify yes. your name. Oh, I thank you so much in the thank name you. of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yes, Father, I just pray for all the nations, oh God, as, as the doorways begin to open, Lord. But yes. I pray for the leaders, Lord, of every nation, Lord. Lord, that you will turn their hearts towards yes. you, that they will hear from you, Father God. That wisdom will come, oh God, as they pause, cause them to be still yes. before yes. making decisions. Surround them, Lord, with godly men and women, yes. oh God, yes. as they make yes. these decisions. And in the name of Jesus, this virus will not come back. There'll be no second wave. The only yes. wave will be yes. waving goodbye to it. Yes. It will yes. not return yes. to our nation. Where our yes. lands will be healed and restored and yes. the finances and the crops and the food, their families. They, it's a blessing of the Lord, Lord, in these last days. Yes, so, Lord, we, I stand yes. in agreement, oh God, that yes. only you alone yes. can turn the hearts of men. Yes. Holy yes. Spirit, that I just uh, yes. thank you that that is what you're doing in, the, in all our leaders, Lord, keeping all our families and every nation yes. and all the leaders safe, Lord, as, as activity goes back to um, business and um, flying in and out, oh God, and all yes. these things. I pray your divine safety, angels Amen. of the living God, Amen. that you go out, you go and prepare and and, and protect and guide. Yes. And Lord, that we see your hand at work in all our leaders. Amen. Bring yes. them, like they said, yes. bring them to you, oh God, for salvation. Yes. And we thank you. And we do take authority over any of this lingering virus in the name of jesus we, yes. we, we rebuke you in the name of jesus yes. get off this planet and go yes. back to the pit where you came from yes, and indeed. stay there and don't ever return in jesus Man. name Man. we bless you lord that your word cleans and delivers and lord anoints and lord we invite you lord as we humble ourselves lord yes. that you will heal the lands of every yes. nation protect yes. all our families for, for um Maria, Lord, and all the family in the Philippines, Lord. Yes. Lord, for, in Nigeria, Lord. In America, Lord. Yes. All the families that represented, Lord. We thank you that you keep them safe, Lord. Thank you, and Jesus. Jesus. And thank you, Lord, that you hear our prayers. We yes. thank you because that's our honor and that's our privilege. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. God. Name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Uh, Father, uh, sorry, can I... Uh, no, carry uh, on. Uh, pray for... Uh, the work that is beginning to start, Lord, in, 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 in the church now, as uh, people begin to come back, uh, 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 preparing for the reopening of the church, the work that has to be done. Uh, Father, we pray for uh, wisdom in the things that we do, uh, Lord, and we, we, we just ask for your continued uh, uh, protection, Lord, on all that come, Lord, that the work may be done uh, safely, Lord, uh, Father, there is uh, no protection better than a uh, uh, divine protection. And we just Amen, call Jesus. upon that, Lord, for uh, 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 those that come uh, uh, this uh, 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 Saturday, uh, 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 Lord, and for uh, 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 subsequent uh, trips, Lord, to yeah. the church to prepare it, Lord, for the reopening, Lord. Father, we just call upon your divine protection upon that building, Lord, and everything that it is done inside yeah. it, Lord. Uh, 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 Father, and we ask for this, Lord, in the precious name of, uh, uh, of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 91 again, folks. It says in verse 5, 
that you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. And only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Amen. And he said, because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. You know, so let us continue to believe in God. There's no fear in returning to church. Uh, we've got the blood of Jesus. And, you know, there's no pressure on anybody to turn up till they're ready. But, you know, we're going to be opening in August. And we thank God that it's not affected any of us at this time. Amen. And we're going to stand strong on it. Amen. 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 Be a, a refuge for people to come and Amen. teach faith over fear. Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. Any special prayer requests before we bring this to an end? I have a song. Oh, go on, sing it, then, girl. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a children's Sunday school song, but uh, Joseph was singing A Rise and a Shine or something, and, and that song, it reminded me of that song. It's maybe 20 years ago or more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Arise, shine. You've got the glory, got the glory, glory rise and shine. shine. Give God the glory, glory arise and rise shine, and shine and 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 give God, God the glory, the glory. glory. Beautiful. We are the children of the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. At least you want to sing it. It's so, it's so oh no, you were doing good. You were doing good. <laughs> oh so good, Christy. You're going so good. Rise and shine and give God, give God the glory, the glory, glory, glory rise, rise and shine. And shine. And give God the glory, glory, rise and shine. Give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I know. Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Joseph, for reminding us of that song. And he was all into that then. Yeah. <laughs> he was. Bless okay. God. Yes. Well, I think what we're going to have to do, Joseph, is learn some songs. Because <laughs> I only know the first line. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. God bless you all. Yeah. Yes. Bless you, everyone. Okay. Yeah. Can we share the grace? Can we yes. say the grace? Yes. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. And the first with the Holy Spirit be with us. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Have a great Amen. week, everyone. You do the same. Stay safe. Bless you. Bless everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye everybody. Bye and conquerors. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody. 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 Bye